According to an intriguing new study, we have vastly overestimated the size of Betelgeuse and the time span of its formation. Researchers believe that Betelgeuse will appear to explode in a few tens of years as opposed to hundreds of thousands of years based on the most recent data. This is significant since Betelgeuse is 650 light years from Earth, meaning that the star's current appearance is identical to that of 650 years ago. If the study is accurate, Betelgeuse has already gone supernova, and we may be fortunate enough to see this amazing event while it is still happening. However, how did researchers arrive at this conclusion? What proof do they have for their claim and what would happen if the light from Betelgeuse's supernova reached us while we were still alive? This is the most crucial question. Come along to find out. A crimson supergiant star named Betelgeuse is perched on Orion's shoulder. It is 650 light years or 200 parsecs away from us. By examining the fundamental and overtone modes of Betelgeuse's pulsations, astronomers came to the incorrect conclusion on the magnitude and timeline of the star's growth. Let me give a straightforward explanation. Stars are more than just immobile lights in the sky. In reality, a lot of them are pulsing, which means they are constantly expanding and shrinking. This closely resembles the way your heart beats, which involves it extending to take in blood and then contracting to pump it out into the rest of your body. A star's pulsation is regulated by a kind of stellar heartbeat that is caused by waves moving through the star. Due to the constant conflict between gravity's attempt to crush the star and the resistance provided by nuclear fusion energy and gas pressure, this pulsing takes place. The most basic way a star can pulse is in the fundamental mode of these pulsations. It resembles the star's fundamental heartbeat in which the entire star expands and shrinks at the same time. Think about bouncing up and down in the middle of a trampoline. The entire trampoline surface descends and rises simultaneously. This is comparable to a star's fundamental mode of pulsation in which the entire star expands and contracts simultaneously. Conversely, overtones, often referred to as harmonics, are more complicated pulsational modes. They entail various areas of the star expanding and contracting at various intervals. The star may have certain regions that are expanding while others are contracting, as opposed to the complete star expanding and contracting uniformly like in the fundamental mode. It resembles a trampoline with additional users, all of whom are bouncing in various locations. The trampoline surface won't just be rising and falling continuously. Instead, there will be intricate wave patterns moving all around, with individual trampoline points rising or falling on their own. Similar to overtones in a star's pulsation, where various sections of the star may expand or contract independently of one another, this phenomenon occurs in space. Astronomers can create models of the conditions inside the star that cause these pulsations by examining the periods of these pulsations. It's similar to understanding a star's inner workings by studying how it behaves on the outside. Betelgeuse has been monitored by astronomers for centuries, and they have noted its irregular fluctuations with roughly four periods, 2,200 days, 420 days, 230 days, and 185 days. They initially thought that the shorter cycles were overtones and that the 420-day pulse cycle was the basic mode. The 2,200-day cycle was seen as a protracted secondary pulse with an unidentified cause. Betelgeuse would span 800 to 900 lined-up suns if the 420-day cycle were taken as the basic one. That is large enough to extend to Jupiter's rim. Seo and colleagues have provided evidence in their study paper, however, that the 2,200-day cycle is truly the fundamental mode, whilst the other three are its overtones. This finding suggests that Betelgeuse is significantly bigger than previously imagined, spanning more than 1,200 times the size of our Sun and extending well beyond Jupiter's orbit. Everything we previously known about the star and its internal dynamics has been completely altered by this discovery. 
Beetlejuice has nearly exhausted all of its carbon, and recent study indicates that it is on the verge of going supernova. 90% of the time that stars are in existence, their cores are converting hydrogen to helium. The main sequence phase of a star's existence is recognized as this stage. A star the size of Betelgeuse spends approximately 10 to 12 million years in this phase, ferociously consuming its nuclear fuel at a temperature of 15 million Kelvin in the center of the star. The star enters the red giant phase as its hydrogen supply runs out. Under the influence of gravity, the star's core constricts and heats up, while its outer layers expand and cool, giving the star its reddish hue. Around 100 million Kelvin is the temperature at which the core begins to burn helium to create heavier elements like carbon and oxygen. The core develops into an onion-like structure over time, with the heavier elements concentrated in the center and the lighter ones in shells around it. When the core temperature reaches a certain level, carbon and oxygen begin to combine to form heavier elements, eventually leading to iron. The story then takes a drastic turn at this point. When iron is fused, it does not provide energy, instead, it absorbs it, causing the core to become unstable. The celebrity is about to die. It would take around 1,000 years for the core of a star the size of Betelgeuse to fusion carbon into heavier elements. It is difficult to determine precisely how much carbon is still present in the star's core at this point. However, when researchers examined Betelgeuse's pulsations and brightness, they discovered that only between 0.48% and 17% of the carbon originally present in its core is still there. From our perspective, Betelgeuse has only a few decades left before exploding into a supernova since a large percentage of its carbon has already been burned up. The explosion may have already happened in real time. Betelgeuse's brightness has increased by more than 50% above its average luminance since the beginning of the year. The supergiant star lost its 420-day pulsation cycle after the great dimming of 2020, a characteristic that the star had been displaying for at least a few centuries. This suggests even more that strange things have been occurring on the star. In our own galaxy, the last time we had the opportunity to observe a supernova with our own eyes was in 1604. It was known as the Kepler supernova. However, there is now some hope thanks to the updated time frame for Betelgeuse's explosion. We might have the good fortune to see this amazing cosmic display in person during our lifetimes. It's a really intriguing possibility. The Betelgeuse supernova will be an event of epic proportions, which is why everyone is anticipating it. Betelgeuse's brightness will rise substantially when it eventually explodes in our frame of reference, maybe exceeding the moon and being visible even during the day. However, this bright brilliance won't stay long. The light will gradually fade after a few weeks of bright splendor, but it may continue to be visible to the unaided eye for a long time, possibly even for more than a year. The great distance between Betelgeuse and Earth means that our planet won't be negatively impacted by the explosion, despite the enormous energy released during a supernova. The enormous space will lessen the supernova's impact and protect humanity from radiation. Supernovae like this one are uncommon and valuable occurrences in our galaxy. They provide us with important data that aids in our understanding of the physics of supernovae, the life and death of stars, and the distribution of elements in the cosmos. Researchers have a unique opportunity to observe the creation of heavy materials like gold and platinum up close in supernovae, which are like cosmic factories. Betelgeuse's core will still be there after the supernova, but it will be different than before. It could develop into a neutron star or possibly a black hole. Even while viewing the ruins of Betelgeuse from our remote location on Earth could be challenging, technological improvements make it conceivable. Astronomers recently discovered the greatest explosion ever seen in the universe, and no physics phenomenon has been able to fully explain it since it is so energetic. Alright everyone, here's where the video ends, thanks for watching and don't forget to like, share and subscribe.